Alright, I am going to set the body cam up. I can't see exactly where it's facing. I can only guesstimate because there's no screen on this one. But uh, I think that's about right. So let's just play with this one for a few days to see what goes on there. And I think that's going to fit there. All right, what I'm going to do is, uh, I took the lens out of the way. We don't need that in the way. And now I'm going to take this off. We don't need this on here. I want to cover where the lens is because there's a mirror in there. And we want to make sure that this is all kind of clean, or as clean as we can keep it. And then we got to figure out how this thing comes apart. Or, how I'm going to get to what it is I got to get to, which is right here. Which is on the same side as the battery, which, huh, which, you know what, this may not be too bad here. Uh, I mean, it's so close to that. It's just like... I don't know what that is. Switch or something. Oh, I bet you that's for this. Yes. That's the little lock switch. Okay. Let's put that there. Alright, hold on a minute. And apparently I shut the mic off on something. I did. Silk! Silk! Dairy free! I like this stuff. I can eat that all day. All day. All night. Silk I can. Keep it up here so the boys like Alright, so here's where we're at. Phone out of pocket. Now, what do I see here? Well, I see a lot of little screws out of pocket. Now, what do I see here? Well, I see a lot of little screws. I don't know what they actually take apart. And they're all on the bottom. But there's a couple here. I wonder. No. This is, this is going to be a challenge, guys. It really is. I don't know how much I really don't want to do this. But, However, when I bought it, it cost me a thousand dollars. But if I bought it today, I don't even know if they make this one today, but if I bought it today, it's probably $300, $400 camera. And if I took it to get it fixed, it would probably cost me more to fix it than it would be for me to buy another one. And if I were to buy another one, I don't know if I'd buy another one of these. It's not that I don't like it. This is they came out with, you know, better, newer, better, faster, you know. Not that I need all that. 
I'd be happy with an old 35 millimeter film. I'm going to turn this on for a minute. Yeah, I'll plug in. I don't know what they actually take apart. And they're all on the bottom. But there's a couple here. I wonder if... No. This is... This is going to be a challenge, guys. It really is. I don't know how much I really don't want to do this. But, when I bought it, it cost me a thousand dollars. But if I bought it today, I don't even know if they make this one today. But if I bought it today, it's probably $300, $400 camera. Yeah, they're probably... Oh, here's a pair of... Uh, I may have found a pair of crappy tweezers, guys. There's a little Phillips. Yes. I am going to cut these down first. So you're going to hear me over here on the grinding wheel. Well, sanding. We get a pair of pliers. And that's something else that I'm missing. I'm missing a blue pair of channel locks. Small blue pair. But uh, I'm wondering, I may have left them. So let me, uh, let me get the big pair. Oh, I may have put them in the drawer without thinking about it. All right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to narrow these down a lot <laughs> and then uh, all the way up to here and then I'm going to put a little bit more of a point on them yeah see right now that's not really going to make it so I got to narrow them down and all the way to about here right about to where I'm grabbing them at at this point because I got to be able to get in there to move them all right so let's take this over here the sander all right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to narrow these down a lot. <laughs> and then uh, all the way up to here. And then I'm going to put a little bit more of a point on them. Yeah, see, right now that's not really going to make it. So I got to narrow them down and all the way to about here. Right about to where I'm grabbing them at at this point. Because I got to be able to get in there to move them. Alright, so let's take this over here to the sander. Anybody have any idea what these are all about? Lever wrench. It's got this little thing here. It doesn't give you much movement at all. The Model 10 lever wrench. More pressure. More pressure is I'm putting and turning this little screw down. Now this screw only has a little less than a quarter of an inch of turn. And lesser pressure, I turn this side down. Lever wrench tool ink. So I have no idea. Because as, as vice grips, they suck. Now that may or may not work. Let's see. Put it in water first. 
baby, Milma. Okay, so I got this good. Now I got to get that. However, that little noise you heard every now and then was me trying to get these from there, but yet they would vibrate. So I got to pinch them from this side, which I don't really don't care to do, but I don't want to ruin the tip. If I try to pinch it from the end, it wants to take the two ends and do this. It won't stay that way, so. But I had to get it down. I still need to come up higher, I think. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. I sent this one for 170. It just didn't look right. Okay, now there's nothing on the top that I can see. To make this like it comes apart. Now the only thing I do see, I do see, is this little piece right here. That could be a little cover for a screw. two screws in the front here. that back off there. You see what I just did? I took this tape, which is garbage, and I stuck it on there, which means I'm going to end up picking it all up and throwing it away. Okay, I wanted to get all that off so I can see if there's any other screws hiding anywhere. That's just the release button. There's two screws there. There's two more here. 